So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology, 10 reasons why you need the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now I'm gonna rock it in this case today. This is a midnight leather case. I'll leave a link to where you can get this down below if you wanna check it out. But people say you never use a case on your phone, Nick. Well, you see I do, and I'm gonna leave it on for this video. So the first reason is the superb 48 megapixel camera setup. Now we've talked about it numerous times before about how we have the macro mode, the 2X or 3X now cinematic improved. But let me go ahead and just show you some of my samples that you can get out of this phone. Just take a look and you can kind of see what I'm talking about here with these samples. Okay guys, so because of the physical size of the 14 Pro Max and all the Max phones for that matter, they do have a little bit more space for a bigger battery. And after a few updates, at first the battery was a little bit spotty, but after a few updates, this thing has been getting incredible battery life. I'm getting well over a day of battery life, sometimes stretching into the next day. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Now, I don't really use low power mode too much on this phone because it then turns off the 120 hertz, makes this feel like a regular iPhone 14, not as smooth anymore. But I gotta tell you, I've been very happy. It's got superb battery life with a superb experience. And why I even mention this is because a lot of phones can be really premium, but then they give you trash battery life. And then the person's like, look, why am I buying this premium phone and the battery life just sucks? Not the, not the case here with the 14 Pro Max. So the next one is always on display. Now, at first I thought it was too bright and I still think that, but Apple is gonna bring a darker version in the next software update, I believe in 16.2. But I gotta say that I've actually started using it while editing videos, I'll just place it on the desk because I like to have the whole editing window open with no clocks, no distractions. But if I need to quickly glance at the clock, I could do that. Yes, you could just look at your watch if you want. But at the same time, I think this is an awesome feature for some people who just want to prop their phone up as a clock or they don't want to turn it on every time. They just want to see what's on screen. So Android's had this for forever at this point. Um, Apple didn't do it the best, I think, initially. But with the upcoming update, it'll be great. And overall, it's definitely a reason that you definitely need this iPhone if you haven't had this experience before. Now the next reason is the action video. So if I go over here to the video mode, you see this little guy right here. If I go ahead and click that, it will give me this ridiculously smooth GoPro like video. And that's something that I definitely want to push home the fact that, you know, a lot of times you, you wanna take video, but you're afraid it's gonna be super shaky. Whether you're in a car, you wanna take a moving shot of something, you're on vacation, whether you're on a, a bicycle and you wanna record something, you're skateboarding, whatever you're doing, you need to get some action footage or you're running even. This one right here is definitely gonna be able to do it for you. And that is a huge upgrade for upcoming, you know, videographers, filmmakers who don't have the budget to go buy a super premium camera that'll do that type of video. Yes, they can just get a GoPro, but at the same time, when you can combine it in your phone and, you know, you can get this thing on a monthly payment or whatever, you, know, you don't gotta go out and buy a full price GoPro. You can just get your iPhone and this will be available on the 14 Pro as well. I believe it's even available on the regular 14s and now you're gonna be able to do action videos. I mean, that is a major reason you need this phone. So the next one is blistering fast performance. So no matter what you're doing day to day, this thing absolutely tears it up. I mean, it is fast no matter what you're doing. And it, not only is it quick, this thing is smooth while doing that. So if you do wanna like have a smooth and blistering fast experience, we've had that already on iPhone, but for some reason, Apple keeps making them faster and faster, which is a good thing, but 
for some reason you could still see it a little bit like you'll notice it in gaming and stuff it just pops games open a little faster than traditionally this thing is a screamer of a, a performing phone and it reminds me a lot of something like an m1 mac or something like that so definitely very quick i'm actually swiping wrong down there very quick blistering quick performance and buttery smooth at the same time so it's a go this is definitely a reason you need this phone if you care about specs you care about performance this is where it's at the next one is dynamic island honestly it's pretty awesome you can control music up here when someone calls you it'll show when you're connecting airpods it'll show when you're using other features that there's a lot of software that takes advantage of it and developers are getting on board with dynamic island so certain features will also work in this area so definitely dynamic island is a major reason to consider this if you want a newer software experience with your iphone 14 pro max will give you this and it's one of the key reasons why a lot of people are even upgrading this year is just to try out the new dynamic island the next reason is the 120 hertz now i'm guessing most people that are coming to this phone don't have the 13 pro max and if you don't you're coming from 11 pro max it's just how smooth this phone is and not only that it adapts to basically what you're doing so if you're watching video to cut it out to save battery life when it, it just knows when not to be using it but it knows when to be smooth and because apple controls hardware and software here as they've been doing since the inception of the iphone you have literally probably the smoothest 120 hertz experience you're going to find on a smartphone google pixel is right there with them though so that would be a closer call but i'm just talking about besides the pixel you know, there's not much out there that can compete with how smooth this device is. So definitely it's one of the reasons you need the iPhone 14 Pro Max is just the experience of scrolling and things like that. The next reason is this is the brightest phone screen on the market, period. Yes, Samsung's S22 Ultra is close, but outdoors this hits a technically higher 2000 nits versus Samsung's 1750. So you can see it looks ridiculously overexposed and that's because the nits on this thing are insane. The Apple Watch Ultra also has this insane nits of brightness, which can be really detected outdoors mostly. But the thing with the iPhone is that when you scroll up on the brightness slider, it definitely gives you a lot of usability. So what I mean is when you come down, there's a lot of range which you can go between. So it's a very premium kind of experience. Also, I noticed this one doesn't really kind of like dim out too much as much as the 13 Pro Max did. If you had it too bright a lot, it would just dim. It was kind of annoying. This one doesn't do that that much. So yeah, and number eight, the brightest phone screen out there. And number nine is the emergency SOS feature. Now they just made this available. It was announced, but you know, definitely you're gonna be able to have a backup plan in case something happens to you via satellite. That is huge. Hopefully nothing happens to you, but this could be a life saving feature on your iPhone. So huge upgrade um, to go get this phone. So definitely emergency SOS by a satellite and at number 10, and I'm gonna say it, it's gonna be the stellar wireless performance. You see them bars? It's mostly always like that. Full bar strength, and yeah, it's gonna depend on your carrier area, but comparatively to a few years ago when I was using my 11 Pro Max, my 14 Pro Max now, it's got stellar Wi-Fi uh, wireless performance, and 5G is fast, fast, fast. So I can no longer say Samsung's in the lead here anymore, and definitely 10 reasons, that's 10 reasons why you should get the iPhone. I'll take the case off now. The iPhone 14 Pro Max comes in space black, deep purple, silver, and gold. So definitely you have quite a few color options. Let me know your thoughts on this one down below in the comment section of this video if you found it helpful, entertaining, and informing. Do me a favor, click the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.